going on guys? Nevin's here. Time for your weekly rock wind up. Back from vacation and one year older. Well, Rob Zombie's Great American Nightmare making a triumphant return to Chicago from September the 25th to November 1st. I'm going to read exactly from the press release what you can expect. Captain Spaulding's Clown School in 3D, The Devil's Rejects, and 31. 31, of course, the forthcoming movie from Zombie that uh, it's got... Five, carna five carnival workers that are kidnapped and held hostage until they f the following night, Halloween, and they're put in a compound named Murder World. So that just gives you like an idea of the three kind of events that will happen around it. Of course, there's going to be a couple concerts and whatnot. So if you're someone that likes to do a little road trip, a little wahoo for some action like that, again, look to Chicago. Well, it seems corn frontman Jonathan Davis in the news this week for a lawsuit levied against him from way back in like 2006 when he was going to try and launch American Curiosities Museum. Uh, he had an investor lined up. It fell through. The investor sued Davis. His lawyer stepped in and agreed to a settlement of roughly under $160,000, where Davis is supposed to pay like a grand every payment, whether that was every two weeks or a month, I'm not entirely sure. The point of the matter is, after two payments, Davis stopped making the necessary payments. So then the lawyers sued for the balance plus interest that were hired to represent Davis, and that comes out to a shade under $257,000. So, I guess your move, Jonathan? And speaking of rock stars in a pickle, uh, undoubtedly you've heard about Kansas City's favorite wayward son, Wes Scantlin of Puddle of Mud. Uh, I would love to tell you that he just got uh, prohibited from boarding a plane, was stinking of booze, uh, according to the report, crying, saying he's a rock star and needs to get to a very important show in Los Angeles. But before all of that, he got busted going over 100 miles an hour, take, take, taking the police on a 100 mile an hour run before finally stopping, uh, refusing uh, you know, sobriety field tests and all that, actually blowing a .31 for the BAC. Give you guys an idea, um, according to most uh, medical reports, .4 can shut down your heart. So if you're operating heavy machinery and blowing a .31, there's got to be something else going on with you. That being said, uh, this is no laughing matter. I think that, uh, I don't speak for anybody else in this radio station, but I think that uh, a lot of people are concerned about Wes's well-being, and maybe it's time to really look at getting some help. And it's time to close out your weekly rock windup. First and foremost, though, uh, DJ Ashba says goodbye to Guns N' Roses. He was basically the new Slash, but he's decided to leave the band. Uh, not really a surprise there because a couple weeks back, 6AM had announced, which is, he's a part of, that they're going to put out a double disc album in 2016 and go on a 24 month nationwide, I'm sorry, I think a, a worldwide tour. So uh, good luck to Mr. Ashba. Uh, no word on who's going to replace him inside of Guns N' Roses. Uh, Alex Winter, who is uh, best known for his roles in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure opposite Keanu Reeves as well as the Lost Boys uh, has announced this week that he is working on developing the uh, ultimate and Frank Zappa uh, documentary and the Zappa Family Trust has given its blessing on the project. Uh, what else? Orbit Metallica uh, on comic book. How about that? You can watch or you can read Metallica in comic book for $3.99. You can order it over at Comic Flea Market. That was announced this week. Um, Seven Dust announcing their 11th studio album Kill the Flaw will be released on October the 2nd. We got the first single this week. On top of that, of course, Seven Dust is going to be with Godsmack at the Midland on the 29th of September. Uh, our boy Sidewise is going to open up for him, not only here in Kansas City, but on a, quite a few dates nationwide. So congratulations to Sidewise on that. How many more Pussifer albums are we going to get before we get a goddamn Tool album? That's what I want to know. Uh, Grand Canyon, the first single, uh, came out this week from Pussifer off of Money Shot. The album will drop on October the 30th. Uh, no word on Tool. Sorry, I'd love to tell you about that. Got a 30-second clip from Iron Maiden's new album, The Book of Souls. That's supposed to drop on September 4th. Got the official lyric video from uh, elect uh, from uh, Motorhead for Electricity. That uh, That is off of the B Bad Magic album. I believe their 22nd studio album that's supposed to drop on August 28th. And uh, Tribute. We haven't put out a video this week for uh, Silence in the Snow. That'll be the title of the new album that will drop on October the 2nd. Don't forget tonight, of course, uh, at the Riot Room is Catastrophe! A benefit, as you heard on the uh, Giant Air Morning Show uh, for the KC Pet Project. Great people, great organization. Go out there and make a little donation, help them out. And then tomorrow night, if you're into it, uh, which I'm sure you are, because I haven't talked to you guys in a couple weeks, but uh, my gals, Burlesque Revival, putting on their final performance tribute to Bowie for Fringe Festival. Uh, that is on at the uh, Buffalo Room. It's a backside of Westport Flea Market. They got food there. They got drink there. You should come on out there. That's all I'm going to say. And last I heard, the, the other performance they had was uh, Standing Room Only, so these tickets are going quickly. So way to go, guys and gal. I'm Nivens. Thank you very much for tuning in to your weekly rock windup. Have a great weekend. 
and 